Hey folks, uh, welcome back. Dave the Bartender here with a quick little unboxing video for you. Um, so just bear with me, it is my first time uh, trying to do a hands-free video with my phone camera. Um, now my setup is currently involving a Pringles can, vice and some tape. Um, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit gangster style, but uh, hopefully everything will work and nothing will fall over. And we should get some uh, nice steady footage and hopefully we'll get some of it in focus. So, on my way to work this morning, I picked up a nice little wee parcel from Forge World. And if it, is, if it has what I think it has in it, it should be a couple of contemporary weapons and uh, some of the new Mark IV uh, kits. So, first up we have two contemporary power fists. And that's the first time that I've bought these ones. I've got some ranged weapons in my love. Um, so we'll just crack this open and seal them a little bit. Okay, so we've got the weapons which go in the centre of the power fist. So there's the bolter and then the flamer and then a couple of the, uh, the joint pieces there. Now I was really hoping it would come with a plasma blaster because that's what I want to put on my fantasy uh, lines, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't come with that option. But I'm sure that I think can do it one up. We've got the finger joints. Now I might replace these in a similar fashion to how I have on my gear with some chain blades just to make them a bit more style. And then the bulk of the power fist itself. Uh, so I do love the contender weapons. Uh, they're very sort of modular and uh, realistic style in terms of the finger joints and so on. It makes it really easy to pose them and uh, really easy to magnetize them as well. Just inside the shoulder joint, you just pop your magnet in there in the recess, and you can get it looking up really nicely without uh, showing it. So I had two of the power fists in this box, and then the second thing in here is a Legion Mark IV power weapon set. And I'm really keen to see what's inside this one, because I've been wanting some more weapons for uh, some of the weapons I'm going to be working on, so I'm really, really keen to see, what, see what's in it. Uh, I wish they come up with one of the Mark II or Mark III sets first, because those are my favourite sets of armour. But uh, let's crack this sucker open and see what's inside. Alright, so I'm just going to switch back uh, to hands-on mode here, just because it's going to give me a little bit more control on the focus. Uh, so the first thing we have in this pack are 10 arms uh, missing the hands. So we've got uh, 5 lefts and 5 rights. Uh, so these are nice and easy to then click on the various different weapons. So for ranged weapons we've got four bolt pistols, two hand flamers and two uh, plasma pistols. And then we've got a couple of the uh, charnel blades, the little uh, sort of uh, pirate rapier uh, scimitar sort of swords they, uh, they have. Now again this is probably an option that I won't be choosing for my money but it's a nice little wee, uh, wee piece of kit. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like there's a couple of air bubbles on the ends of those, but nothing which I can't fix up quite fast. And then we've got a couple of chain swords, which I always like. And then like. there's uh, the big fella. It's a heavy chain blade or uh, executioner style chain sword. Uh, it looks like it's at least twice the length of a normal chain blade. Um, it's got a really nice pose uh, on the double-handed uh, grip. The kit well. also comes with two power swords and a power maul. Now, in typical uh, Forge World fashion, these are wonky as hell, um, but a little bit of hot water uh, and some straightening out that will come come together quite nicely. There's also a couple of close combat weapons, some little punch daggers and scabbards, uh, which is a nice extra couple of bits of detail. Just to round out the kit, there's a couple of uh, really nice power fists, uh, both left and right hands, and some really good power armor size lightning claws, uh, which is great because I don't really like using Terminator scale ones because they're a little bit too big. Uh, there's a couple of torsos, uh, which again, I really like getting extra torsos because I tend to convert a lot of my troops, and uh, having those extra pieces means I don't have to uh, green stuff uh, from regular tactical marines for them. Um, I tend to mix and match with Forge World pieces and regular GW pieces and third party stuff to make it a bit more unique, and also uh, to save myself a little bit of money because while well, Forge World is fantastic, but it's always quite pricey. Uh, but one of the things I really like in this kit is the melter bombs. So they're at a much better scale than the ones you used to get with the assault marines. Um, they're a little bit smaller and it looks a, bit, a little bit better uh, 
different size for power army troops. Uh, there's also a thunder hammer and a couple of power axes. So this kit is absolutely fantastic with the number of options you get. Um, you can probably kit out sort of a good 10, 15 different characters uh, with it. So I really look forward to them bringing out some for the Mark II and Mark III, because as I said, those are my favourite armor styles. But I'll be able to use a lot of these pieces anyway, just cutting in the hands off uh, Mark III or Mark II armor and then slotting in the weapons, so it won't be too hard to do. So, yep, thanks for watching guys, my first unboxing video, and uh, happy to say that my camera didn't fall over while I was doing this. Um, I do have a hands-free kit which will be coming from China in a few weeks, and that'll make it a lot easier to do this sort of thing. So, cheers, thanks for watching, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.